Conan Exiles is currently in the calm before the storm. In the Age of War Chapter 2 update, the Purge we know all too well will be replaced by the Stygian Army, a vicious fighting force from the ancient kingdom of Stygia. Though we are still a few months out, with Chapter 2 expected to drop in September of this year, what can we expect when that update does come? Today I'll be analysing all we know and have seen thus far to provide a preview of what we'll be against in Chapter 2. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, it's pretty much confirmed that all of the types of purges will be gone come Chapter 2. Clusters of spiders, the shambling undead, roaming bandits, Tafari cannibals, etc. They'll all be gone, replaced by the might of the Stygian army. Of course, the difficulty of the forces you face will be based on the treasures held within your base, and the purge will become an opt-in system, allowing you to call a purge as and when you please, rather than dreading it showing up at an inopportune time. However, with this new purge will come new fighting capabilities that previous purges did not have. Firstly, we'll refer back to the Age of War reveal stream for some information from Dennis. He said that when the purge come to attack, they'll firstly set up a forward operating base which they'll attack you from. If we look at the Age of War reveal trailer, there's a brief section here which looks like it could be set in the forward operating base. We can see trebuchets, tents and some Stygian infantry, but it's a pretty tight shot so we can't really divine much else from this image. It isn't clear what the significance of the forward operating base is yet, but I'm guessing there will be some good rewards to pillage from these camps so they might be stored here. As for the rest of our information on the Stygian army, we're going to look mainly at that trailer. It's fairly short, but it should provide a good source of information. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll leave the link in the pinned comment. It's an insanely good trailer, probably one of my favourites for any game. So let's start off with the first interesting section of the trailer, right here, just before the forward operating base shot. This section is mainly interesting due to the Stygian commander atop the horse. So far we've not seen any NPCs capable of riding horses. There were previously some balance changes in the Age of Sorcery that made horse combat much less oppressive than it previously was, and personally I like the idea of one or two mounted NPCs that we have to dismount and then defeat, though if I'm being realistic, I'm still 50-50 on if this is a hint towards that or just more of a cinematic shot. On one hand, it makes perfect sense that a high-ranking commander would be able to be on a horse directing traffic and able to take a more mobile path through the conflict rather than running around with the regular infantry. However, on the technical side of things, I can see this being a potential nightmare for the AI to handle unless it's been extensively developed and tested. Whilst it would be cool to have mounted enemies or even small cavalry detachments, I'm still split on if this will be an actual gameplay mechanic or if they've included it in the trailer as a cinematic way of showing off the leadership of the Stygian army. Therefore, for this point, mounted combat with NPCs is still a 50-50. The second segment of the trailer makes things very obvious as to what we're up against, and that is siege machinery, namely trebuchets. In the trailer, they're only shown using the demon fire barrages, though I imagine they might end up using other types of ammunition, it's just that demon fire looks the best in a video. There's no other type of siege weaponry visible here, but there's plenty of potential. I'd love to see battering rams pushed on wheels up to the gates, or maybe large ballista emplacements, though having just said that, I don't see them being too effective if you're on the attacking side. There could be other siege weapons that exist, but it's important to remember that Funcom know people will be looking through these trailers meticulously, and they will doubtless want to keep some surprises for Chapter 2, so of course they won't be showing everything here. On that mention of battering rams though, I did spot something interesting. In this particular shot here, the falling gate of the castle is visibly broken on the ground. I don't recall ever seeing this before, so that could be indicative of something capable of breaching the gate, like a battering ram, or it could just be a new effect for broken gates, it's really hard to say without any other supporting evidence. Of course if you're a PvE or PvP player and this has been in the game for a while, I'm just a lowly builder and lore guy, so please do correct me in the comments if that is the case. Throughout the trailer, there are various clips of the Stygian army advancing and attacking, but we never really get a true scale of the amount of soldiers we'll face. The trailer uses the time-honored tradition of focusing on small elements in each battle to make them stand out, so the estimate of how many soldiers we'll be against is hard to make. 
I would hazard a guess that we'll probably end up fighting quite a lot of soldiers, as a small group of six or seven just wouldn't really be in the spirit of the chapter, and the current purges already offer a good number of enemies. I think the most soldiers shown on screen at once is six or seven in the shot of the commander on horseback, but we are able to take somewhat educated guesses, I think. There are numerous shots of exiles fighting off the Stygian army inside the walls of the castle, and some other shots make it clear that Stygian soldiers are manning the trebuchets outside and presumably won't just hop off the siege machines to come and run in. That could mean that potentially we'd have to face multiple groups or waves of enemies, in that we'd get some that would push into the castle, others that would mainly damage the walls outside, and then the final group which would presumably be near the trebuchets at the forward operating base. Finally, the last feature we can confirm is right at the end of the trailer, and that is of course a giant snake. In particular this appears to be the avatar of Set, and if the enemy can indeed summon god avatars that is a game changer for purges. Now I mentioned the scalable difficulty earlier, I imagine this will be restricted to the highest level purges but it will prove challenging no matter your defences. I imagine they probably won't be as powerful as player summoned avatars for balancing but it will definitely be troublesome to say the least. Alongside these features, there's still a ton of things up in the air for the new Purge coming in Chapter 2. We know they'll seek out your treasure room, but we're not quite sure how that's going to manifest in the gameplay just yet. Again, as I mentioned earlier, there's also likely a few surprises that Funcom deliberately left out of the trailer. We also have no idea what the rewards look like from the Purge. We know that we'll be able to use our treasure in the future to upgrade our defences, but seeing as the Purge is now opt-in, there is almost guaranteed to be some sort of incentive to actually do it. That being said, again there's no information on that, but that's something we'll learn as we get closer towards Chapter 2. The Purge has been a point of contention for a while. Many players don't like dealing with it, and hopefully this revamp will change that and make the Purge something that players actually can enjoy, regardless of if you summon the weakest Purge for a little bit of fun or the toughest for a challenge. Thank you for watching, and of course a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed Coffee Cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. I'm working on some other Age of War content too, including a treasure room build and a review of some of the bizarre items, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.